Have you ever pondered over the unsolved mysteries of mathematics? One such enigma is Fermat's last theorem. But what exactly is this theorem? This theorem, a cornerstone of mathematical history, remained an unsolved puzzle for centuries. Fermat's last theorem, in layman's terms, states that there are no three positive integers a, b, and c that satisfy the equation. A circumflex n plus b circumflex n equal sign c circumflex n for any integer value of n greater than 2. Sounds complicated? Well, worry not. Think about it this way. You're probably familiar with the Pythagorean theorem, right? It's a fundamental pillar of geometry that states that in a right-angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. We can express this as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is a special case of Fermat's last theorem where the power n is 2. Fermat's last theorem takes this a step further, or rather, many steps further. It proposes that there are no three positive integers a, b, and c that satisfy the equation. A circumflex n plus b circumflex n equals c circumflex n for any integer value of n greater than 2. So, unlike the Pythagorean theorem, Fermat's theorem asserts that this principle doesn't apply for any higher powers. So, for any power greater than 2, you won't find any three numbers that fit the formula. Despite its simplicity, proving this theorem was a daunting task that puzzled mathematicians for centuries. That was until Andrew Wiles, who in 1994, finally solved the puzzle. This monumental achievement revolutionized the field of mathematics. So now when someone talks about Fermat's last theorem, you'll not only know what it is, but you'll also understand the centuries of mystery and intrigue that surround it.